feels like if you get This is the new reality for most these days. Personal interactions once face to face, now online due to the COVID pandemic. In this new world, entrepreneurs like Fodel Bentakia are finding opportunities to grow their business. Hi, Dr. Bacha. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, Lauren. How are you doing? I'm doing quite this well. This is you? Okadoc, Dubai based telemedicine company that allows patients to virtually connect with their doctors. Fodel decided to launch Okadoc after an unpleasant booking experience. I felt sick and I just wanted to book an appointment with my own doctor. It was during working days, during working hours, and it took uh, me personally more than 15 minutes not to get an appointment. Okadoc's telemedicine platform was originally set to launch towards the end of 2020, but Fodil fast-tracked the release due to the coronavirus pandemic. We literally, the entire team, we've been working day and night uh, for weeks. Um, and it was great because we are also the, the uh, users and our families are using this platform. So, so we, we see definitely the benefits uh, of, of that. But it has absolutely accelerated. I think we've, we've, uh, we've just gained two, three years in terms of adoptions, at least. Okadoc connects patients to more than 1,500 doctors operating in 160 hospitals throughout the United Arab Emirates. Users can filter doctors based on their insurance coverage, spoken language, and areas of expertise. All we need to do is send you a refill prescription. It's been actually amazing in many ways. First of all, it helped us through a real bad crisis when we had to be in touch with our patients, and you know it was a very difficult time for us, and it was so so uh, important for patients to see their doctor face to face. But going forward, I think it will change a lot of us tomorrow. I have a telemedicine Okadoc visit with somebody in Canada. So I see this going global, really, that we'd be able to keep in touch with our patients every day. The economic fallout from COVID-19 continues to disrupt businesses around the world. But for some entrepreneurs like Fodil, they're finding ways to grow their companies. Claire Sebastian, CNN. Thank you.